I try to learn more and more things of God. I guess one of many reasons is to become a better servant of God. Okay, let me say this. If you are a responsible parent, I don't believe you will reward your child for wrongdoing. I don't believe. I don't believe you will reward your child for not being appreciative. I guess, if anything, I believe you would wait until their mind frame changes, their words and everything else changes before you begin to do more for them again, I believe. Because what type of parent rewards wrongdoing? Like, how wicked would that be? Hey, you are doing so wrong, let me buy you a present. If anything, I believe that is going to... Uh, I believe that is going to make that child worse. I believe that. Okay. We have to understand that, or I believe that, we don't know or see everything. So if we don't see or know everything, I guess you can say our knowledge, or I believe our knowledge, is limited. So if our knowledge is limited, how can we complain? If anything, I guess, and I believe, we see parts and pieces. How can you draw a conclusion, an accurate conclusion, with only parts and pieces? How can I say this? Let's say that you only see 1% or 5% of that entire picture. How can you conclude anything accurately by seeing so little of the entire picture? Let me read one page out of 300 pages. How can I tell you about that book accurately if I only read one page? I believe we don't know or see everything. I believe our knowledge is limited. Okay, God knows and sees everything. Listen. What if God wants to bless you? What if God wants to elevate you? What if God wants to do so many great things for you, but let's say you are over there complaining? Is that going to motivate God to bless you when you are complaining? Aren't we going to reap what we sow when we complain. What if 
we have to go through some pain first before we can get to what God has for our life. Please listen. Do you believe that in this life, even when you serve God, do you believe that everything is going to be rosy? Do you believe that everything is going to be easy? I believe some people may have heard the story of Joseph. Not Joseph and Mary, but Joseph. The hard times that that man had to go through. But in the end, things turned out so well for him. A person may say, well, is there a way for him to get to where he went? Like, is there a way that he could have gotten there without going through so much pain? I don't know. I don't know. But from my understanding, your path is not going to be always as smooth as you like, I don't believe. Or, yes, I believe that your path is not going to be as smooth as you like. So, if you don't see or know everything, if anything, I guess you can say, it is best, I believe, it is best to always give God thanks. Even if you don't understand what is going on, give God thanks anyway. Give God thanks to even, even the bad times. Because I believe you don't see the whole picture. So since you don't see the whole picture, that bad can be actually good, perhaps. Because perhaps the bad that you are going through is going to help you to your next destination. I believe that. So this complaining and whining, I believe that is going to hurt you much more. So, give God thanks always, even when you don't understand. Now, I have to work on that myself. <laughs> but, I am learning to say less or speak about, how can I say that? I am learning to complain less. And we have to repent of that for complaining. So God, please forgive me of my sins. So let me stop here. God bless you.